today I'm gonna take you guys for the ride. And here we go. It's been a week since I was in a box truck. And it's been probably two months since I've been driven a box truck. Oh no, not two months. A little bit less, like a month and a half. And um, it's good just once in a while to take for a ride. Last week I had a lot of lot of work. I had 12 hour shifts all week and all weekend. So I don't have really like a build video for you guys. So I'm just gonna have a little talk. Oh my, the tripod fell off. Just wanted to talk a little bit. I have actually some questions for you too. My rear doors of my box truck, which me and Ashley built last year, March, they're leaking. They're leaking pretty good. And I know what's the problem. All those panels are from roll-up doors. Water gets in these lines and just all the inside of the door is wet. I can't decide what to do. I was looking up in the internet a lot of uh, box truck doors and you can't really find nothing like a second hand. Like you can find uh, roll-up doors, but roll-up doors is not an option. And I would like to have a barn doors. I could make it myself, but I don't want to take again the build and then they're going to leak and stuff. I don't know. I found a couple of companies who do the build and who do the repairs on the box trucks and cargo trucks. Monday, I need to call them and ask how much they cost. I hope they're not a lot. Maybe you guys know something. Maybe you guys know someone who have barn doors of the box truck and they want to sell it. Would be awesome. And then there's other problem with the box truck is that it have rust under the door. The doors are fine, but the, the structure under the door, it's pretty rusty. So that means it needs to be repaired. If not, it's pretty bad. There she goes. That little hose, which you guys see, is my gas heater fuel line, and uh, they put it in there. It's not sealed up good, and it's kind of leaking. That's why I don't press really hard, and it takes slower to fuel up. What else? Box truck by itself, the engine, everything, two to two, drives really good. It has a lot of kilometers on. It has 373,000 kilometers on. It's a lot, but for a six liter engine, and this is a Vortec engine, it should be really good. Before I bought this box truck, I read a lot of good comments about this six liter engine. But uh, yeah, I have an engine light on, but that doesn't bother me. I know I one time lost the gas cap, and I think that's why the engine light went on. It got some air in it or something, some sensor. But uh, yeah, it drives good. The box truck conversion into the tiny house by self is taking a long time because I'm not in a rush and uh, I want to build it good. And I'll show you a little bit inside. And then it turns out into the update video which kind of is to attach this one too but yeah I installed the lights as well here the dim lights and uh, these 
these are the doors I've been talking about you can see there's already some stains from inside so I really want to change them really bad and then I would have a L-shaped couch going like this but actually it would be really really cool to build a wall kind of have space like this build a wall here and then this space you can put a bicycle a generator and all it's like a little garage and then these doors would be like a barn door that would open like this on each side or maybe somehow fix it so these doors doesn't leak but uh, you know it would be nice to have a wall from here to here and then there's a door which can open and get it out and then between here you can store the tire have a generator have a bicycle hanging on the other side of the wall something like that maybe you guys have some advice which you can give me and uh, that'll be awesome I want to tell you thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers 5,000 that's a lot of people thank you so much for subscribing this channel other side of that bridge is America there's American flag hello America how's it going <laughs>